Have you ever asked yourself, Do I have enough money to retire in your life? Today, I'll be here to help you calculate how much money you'll need to have saved up before you can retire in luxury. If you think that you're still too young to be contemplating retirement, you should think again about dot belief. According to the World Health Organization, the average life expectancy is 72 years. But if you live in a highly developed country, you'll probably live well over 80 years. The average life expectancy is 72 years. Therefore, if you start working at age 24 and continue until you are 55 years old, you will just have 32 years to accumulate enough money to sustain yourself for at least 17 to 30 years after you stop working. Hello everyone, welcome to Finance Wisdom. In this video, we're going to talk about Do I have enough money to retire early? Watch this. If you're new to this channel, do like and subscribe to the channel. If it seems to be too short a period of time, the likely explanation is that it is. As a result of this, a significant number of individuals living in nations with high incomes are forced to delay the retirement, with some continuing to work until the age of 69. If you believe that it would be a terrible experience, you should begin making preparations for your retirement as soon as possible. I can promise you that, in the long run, you will find this to be helpful. The first thing to do when planning for retirement is to calculate how much money you will need to maintain your current standard of living once you stop working. This number will ultimately determine how much money you will need to save and what type of investment strategy will work best for you. A fast source on Google will turn up a wide variety of other approaches to determining how to get at this number. However, the method that I found to be the most comprehensive is one that is based on the well-known Trinity study. This study, which was published more than 20 years ago, found that you should only withdraw up to 4% of your whole investment portfolio in the very first year. After that, the amount of money you are able to take out of the account each year will grow to account for inflation. If you have $1,500,000 saved up by the time you retire, for instance, you should be able to spend $50,000 in the first year of your retirement and a little more each year after that for the next 30 years while still having some money left over in your investment portfolio. This is an example based on a hypothetical scenario. In order to make an estimate of this kind, you need to be aware of the whole amount that you want to spend throughout your retirement. If you want to spend $5,000 during retirement, for example, you would need to multiply that amount by 12 and then divide it by 4% of the total. If this is the case, then having a total of $1,650,000 will enable you to have a monthly spending budget of $5,500 for at least 30 years. However, if you stop there, inflation will make it difficult for you to maintain your standard of living during your retirement. To put it in another way, inflation may be defined as the rate at which prices continue to grow over time. In the previous example, you could believe that spending $5,500 per month is reasonable at the moment. But in 20 or 30 years, when the prices of things you care about the most will have skyrocketed, those $5,500 would be worth nearly as much. In point of fact, the value of $5,000 in the year 2040 will only be about the same as $3,500 in the present day. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Do I have enough money to retire? Is your key question, which I will address thereafter. We looked at a ton of different methods to determine how much money you'll need for retirement. We reviewed their calculations and made a few changes. We came up with a method of our own to calculate the amount at which you can easily retire. This should be easy to use but yet accurate for the majority of people, regardless of where you live, how much money you earn, and other factors. We'll tell you how much you need to have by the time you're ready to retire, as well as how much you need to save each month to get there. 
By the time this video is through, I'll have done the math for you. So let's get this discussion started. If you want to know if you have enough money to retire, you may calculate it using this method. These figures are subject to variation depending on your own financial situation, the condition of the economy in your community, and the ambitions you have for your retirement. Let's say you don't have any money and you have every intention of continuing to work for the next three decades. Check out this page to see how much money you will need to put away each year in order to have the retirement income you envision when you're older. For example, if you expected to spend around $4,000 in today's currency per year until your retirement, you would need approximately $2.9 million. That means you need to start putting away $1,500 per month as soon as possible after reading this. If you stick to that savings approach, build your savings at a pace of 5% per year and ensure that your portfolio earns a return of 6% per year. Then you will be able to retire in luxury without ever having to worry about having to work another day in your life. If you work for another 20 years, you'll need to put in twice as much effort to make your money last the same amount of time. However, if you save an additional $750 per month, you'll have an additional $2,000 in retirement income. However, if you only work for another 20 years, you need to put in an additional $2,000 in retirement income. This is due to the fact that you will have less time to save money and see your assets rise in value. In this hypothetical situation, an additional $1,550 saved each month results in an income of almost $2,000 per month after retirement. The fundamentals of retirement planning are smart financially, although there are obviously too many factors and details to consider in this basis. I believe they nevertheless provide a solid framework for retirement planning. You can see from the calculations that there are four ways to make the most of your retirement. Reduce your retirement expenses, extend the time you work to prepare for retirement, increase your savings, and optimize investment returns. I know that these ways to plan for retirement are pretty obvious, but I hope that by giving these goals a specific dollar amount, you will be able to set clear, short, medium, and long-term financial goals to make sure you are ready for retirement. We've reached the end of another video, and I hope we answered the question, do I have enough money to retire? Thanks for watching. I hope you have learned something from this video. If you like this video, do give us a like, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below. Thank you and goodbye.